Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at how we can take shapes from Photoshop to Illustrator. If you're interested in taking paths from Photoshop to Illustrator, then check the video that's linked up here because it is a slightly different process. But here we're going to take shapes. So I've got a number of shapes here that I've created in this document. Let's add one more to it. I'm going to the shape tool here, the custom shape tool, and I have a number of shapes that I have loaded here. If you haven't got your older shapes in Photoshop, then you can go and get them by choosing Window and then Shapes. And then from the Fly Out menu here, you can choose Legacy Shapes and more to get the Legacy Shapes. Now, I already had some others that I had downloaded over the years, so I'm just going to grab one of those. So I'm going to grab this cow here and I'm just going to drag it into my document. I'm going to hold the shift key as I do so it's scaled in proportion and it's going to fill with the black color that I've been using. I'm just going to move things around here a little bit to make sure that all of my shapes are not overlapped. So in the layers palette here, you'll see that we've got lots and lots of shapes. We can tell they're shapes because they've got this little icon here in the corner. And when I created them using the custom shape tool, I made sure that when the tool was selected, shapes was selected from this little panel here. Now the color that you have them filled with doesn't matter because we're going to lose it anyway. So to take these from Photoshop to Illustrator, I'm going to open up the layers panel. I'm going to put them all on one layer because that's just going to make life a whole lot easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge all these shapes. I'm grabbing all my shape layers. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose Merge Shapes and that puts them all on the single layer. Now I can call this a different name if I wanted to. So I can call this, for example, Seven Animals. To take them to Illustrator, we're going to save them out as a file. So I'm going to choose File and then Export. And down here, we're going to choose Paths to Illustrator. They're actually shapes, but shapes have an underlying path, so we can use the same tool here. So I'm just going to click on that. You can see here that I've got seven animals, Shape Path. I'm just going to call my file that. I'll click OK. And now we're taken to my Working Images folder, so I'm just going to click Save because it's got the Shapes to Illustrator file already given to it. That's the file name that I had for my PSD file, but this has been saved out as an AI file. So whatever your PSD file was called, then your AI file is going to be given the same name. You could change that if you wanted to. Now, I don't actually want all these in one layer, so I'm just going to Window and then History. I'm just going to unwind my history. So I'm going up here to where I last had all the images in the right place. And now I could just save my file and I would have everything the way it was plus the cow that I've just added to my document. But let's switch now to Illustrator. In Illustrator, what I'm going to do is just open that file. So I'll choose File and then Open. And here is my file in my Working Images folder. I'll just click Open. Now we get a choice here as to what we want to happen. If we choose Legacy Artboard, we're going to get a larger artboard potentially and a small set of images. If we choose Artwork Bounding Box, then we're going to get a artboard that is going to be the same size as the actual bounds of the image. It doesn't really matter too much. You're just going to have to clean something up at some stage potentially. So I'm just going to choose Legacy Artboard because I don't want to crop anything if there's anything over the edge of something. So I'm just going to click OK. Now it looks like everything's failed here. We've got sort of an empty document, but if we go to the last panel here, you'll see that there are compound paths here for every single one of the animals. It's just that they're not filled. So what I'm going to do is run down and select on all of these. So I'm just control clicking on the little icons here. And here are all of my animals. And you can see here that I've got no fill and no stroke. Well, if I double click on the fill, I can add a fill to my objects. And that gives me a chance to have a look at them and just work with them. Now I want them to be larger, so I'm just going to hold the shift key as I just scale them to a larger size. In the layers panel, they're now individual compound paths that I can do something with. 
So we've got them saved in an AI file. We've also got them saved as shapes in a PSD file. Now these have come in as CMYK. I'm going to convert them because I prefer to work in RGB. So I'm going to file and then document color mode. I'm just going to use RGB color. This is a really handy way of getting shapes from Photoshop to Illustrator because there are lots of shapes in Photoshop and not <laughs> shapes in Illustrator. And so if you want to harness the power of shapes that there are around on the web or that you've created or that are built into Photoshop, then you can do so and just bring them into Illustrator where you can use them for whatever purpose it is that you want to use them for. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.